Hey guys, today we're going to do the two painting analysis and with the painting is JMW Turner and Salvador Dali. So let's begin. This is a self-portrait of what JMW Turner looked like and this is the first painting that we're going to look at by him. This is called the Slay Ship and it basically depicts a ship in the background while as we can see in the foreground a lot of people that have been thrown overboard and left to die. These people are slaves, of course, and this was in the year after, uh, this was after the abo abolition of slaves, uh, and that was, I think, uh, after 1850. So, in the picture, we see a lot of movement from how the sea is just going and how the clouds are just passing by, and we can see that realistically. Second of all, the uh, warm color palette in the sky is showing a lot, uh, showing that this was dawn, and second of all, the murky but yet blue ocean in the bottom just shows it just contrasts well between the two and i just feel that this picture is a perfect example of movement at the same time inside and outside of the shit to the outside so another picture i really do not know the name for this one but this is another good painting by him another great way of showing movement and just the way the sea works and how the, the ship is just moving with the sea. So now we're going to the next painting uh, by Salvador Dali, and this is the persistence of memory. Now, for the persistence of memory is one of his most famous works, and this is basically a painting that he got from inside his mind. It is, I could say, it is really, really creative in the sense that you just see melting clocks, just showing how time is just flowing down, and it's just worthless. And at the same time. The colors used just shows how depressing it is. It's a very, it's not bright and it's not bold. It's more subtle with all the darkness and the negative space in the background. This painting just shows a lot of subtlety, but at the same time taking hard hits at the re at time how it has just flows by and flows by and there's no reason and there's just it keeps continuing to systemize confusion and thus had to help discredit completely the world of reality that is basically what he says this painting is just amazing it's just really good and i really do like it now this another second example this is just for fun just to put it in it's just another idea of how dali used to work with his used to work he is just really creative and yeah that's all the time we have thank you and good night